Could you have been born Richardson and not egg hatched as I've always assumed? Did your mother hover over you, snaggletooth and doting as you now hover over me? I loved my mother. Puberty may bring you to understand. What we take for mother love is really murderous hatred and a desire for revenge. Will you give your speech to be mayor tonight? Whatever night I give it, count on me not to mince words. Electors of the camp, as to who should serve as mayor, reasonable men may differ, but as to who should be sheriff, we all ought to speak with one voice, and our words should be, turn out the maniac bullet who set upon the mayor unprovoked, who beat him with merciless protraction. Bullock should be murdered. We should rise up and murder Bullock. Thank you very much. My father didn't like me. I'd like to use your ointment to suffocate you. Uh-oh. Why say uh-oh? If you don't mean to go on to explain yourself, why say anything at all? Do you only feign stupidity while in fact plotting ways to madden me? No. Why did you say it? Why did you say uh-oh? It's the sheriff that beat you. I give no long speech tonight. You know me and my works. I'll not question those either who have faith in my rivals or make faith an issue of any sort. We're long past the time of the pharaohs. I cannot decree Mr. Starr make Exodus a clear choice for Deadwood. Farnham twice measured, Starr once cut. E.B. Farnham, essay proven true. Farnham, Christ knows he's earned it. Candidly, Richardson, as I imagine you foraging for berries and grubs and flicking at insects with your sticky tongue, I feel a certain dismay. What are you talking about? You are to be discharged, fool. As I suspect, in a wink of time, once some stage from a different direction arrives with my replacement, am I? What did we do wrong? Your error, surprisingly enough, is not to be a grotesque of inconceivable stupidity, but that you are white and male and not repulsively obese. As for my own, I wonder if it lies in an excessive courtesy, an eagerness to please. Mr. Hurst? Farnham, have you a moment for us to talk? I do. I'd ask only that you be brief and forbear from false camaraderie. Come, Hurst. I've seen the Ethiope, who indeed could miss her. And even as she supplants Richardson, what person, I wonder, of what depraved exotic origin have you engaged to take my place? I hadn't thought of replacing you. Do you want me to? The world begins to dance before my eyes. As for Richardson, Aunt Lou will be taking his position, but he can keep doing whatever else it is that he does with no reduction in wage. What a surprising and gratifying turn. Paid through Tuesday. That one's paid through Thursday. Having secured your approval as to my hiring plans, I wonder now if I might elicit the information I came for, which is in regard to Mrs. Ellsworth. I am abjectly at your disposal. For some time, without the unseemliness of approaching her directly, I have sought, without success, to generate a connection with Mrs. Ellsworth. A haughty cunt. Formerly weak for dope. Most fundamentally, a sexual peccant, though I'm sworn against providing specifics. Now, as it seems of her own volition, Mrs. Ellsworth appoints to meet with me. 
leading me to wonder what change in her situation prompts her approach. I will look into it, sir, vigorously and immediately. You don't know. I do not know at present. Just send her up when she gets here. I can seek the knowledge out. I can pursue it as a first priority. Just send her the fuck up. All right, sir, and may I say how delighted I am our relation is to continue. A newly rakish tilt. What have the gods decreed? Too fearful and upset to relive it, E.B. Trailing clouds of glory. Do you read Wordsworth? I do not, madam, no. How do you come to ask? You've just quoted him. Well, I have a digest from which I memorize, suppressing the author's names. Thank you so much for squiring me. These gentlemen being so obviously compelled by other responsibilities, such acid scrutiny by former boon companions. We was never your fucking boon companion, TB. Forgive my confusing, Dan, my own deep feelings for you with what yours may have been for me. I did not offer my hotel to Hearst, which sale has made me outcast among you. Hearst forced the transaction upon me. I miss our morning coffee. Hearst organizes violence between his man and Doherty. Does he? Don't suppose you talk to the captain? Hails and farewells, but he never replies. Or the cook? The Negress and I are not intimate. All right, E.B. May I ask your plans out? No. Only to further their achievement? No. All right. All right. Glad to have been of help. Always available to counsel. Hurry out, Richardson. Thwart that Abyssinian. I don't know what you mean. Any thought he has of registering. Bad enough, we have one in help. Hello. Hello. We can't take you. My baby! <laughs> Your baby's grown, Mom. We get you into my room. You're so beautiful. Oh. Did you hear, Richardson? Beautiful. Yes. <laughs> and I get up, clocking that cock sucker upstairs. An inscrutable figure, Mr. Hurst. Now, what I want you to know, his first activities impinging on me I don't hear about beforehand from you, I'm gonna cut your fucking throat. Goodness. You see the 200 I give you? I do, yes. At the margin of vision. That argues there's a better way. <clears throat> Here, Al, is your answer. Nor would 10 times the sum have tempted me. Should have known. You confirm my judgment, then. You were the money's source. As it happens, E.B., I was not. I see. In that case, you may view my behavior as a random display of loyalty. Explaining yourself offers a better chance of getting it back. That money, Al, came from Tolliver, seeking knowledge, as he claimed, of such of her activities as I, operating the man's hotel, might come into. How could I not believe it was you orchestrating the approach as some form of test? The alternative would have Tolliver, knowing my history with you, Believe him, nonetheless, he could approach me, swaying my loyalty as if I'd no morals more than a street whore. Ain't the Tolliver's standard the baldness of it? My thinking, exactly. The lack of prelude or prologue. It's Hurst. Hurst. Is he Caesar? To have fights to the death for diversion, murder his workers at whim, smash passages in the fucking wall? A man of less wealth will be in fucking restraints. We're in the presence of the new. Fuck the fucking new. Jesus Christ, Al. 
Is it over for us here? Go back to the hotel, E.P. Save us. Think of something. Have I ever not? We'll discuss that money another time.